You know weebs, those overweight blokes that smell like sweat and the widow dust? Well apparently the less weird cousin of the term weeb is Japanophilia, it uses the philia suffix. And an early example is Lafcadio Hearn. He was a Greek-Irish guy that moved to Japan and wrote a bunch of literature about Japan and he also got married there got kids and turn into a fully naturalized citizen. And you know that thing what some weebs do where they make themselves their own Japanese name? Well he did that too and has a name Koizumi Yakumo. And some other people also visited Japan to look at stuff, but the early Japanese craze ended because of, you know, World War II. But a couple of fire bombings and two A-bombs later, people realized they could anime pretty well. And it wasn't until the 70s, 80s, 90s and 2000s when the West started to get more exposed to anime. In the 70s because of the rise of the telly, in the 80s and 90s because of the rise of the VHS tapes, and in the 2000s because of the rise of DVDs and pirating sites. And it's because of those pirating sites that people started to watch anime that wasn't licensed where they live. And for some places that could mean quite a bit more, or a lot more. Because before the internet the only way you could watch anime was if it was on the TV, or if you could get a VHS tape of it at the shop. Or you could fly all the way to Japan and watch it there in a language you don't understand. Anyhow, those weebs on the internet started to band together to make forum sites and debate about their wife who's there instead of making other people feel uncomfortable. But I guess it made anime mainstream and maybe Japan will turn into an economic conglomerate because they own 100% of the world's waifu pillow reserves. So in short, the first few weebs in the world used to be educated riders and now it's people with splattered body pillows. But who knows, the weeb community is rising like crazy. So maybe in the future we'll get the first weeaboo president or a bunch of tourists will show up in Japan annoying locals. Dame, dame.